What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. And frankly, to call this thing a mouse really doesn't do it justice. When you think of a mouse, you think of that little thing that sits on your desktop that just navigates on the screen. And sure, this does that just fine. Actually, with a whole lot of precision and accuracy. But there is so much customizable capability built right into this device, as well as a number of other features that it might take a little while to unpack. We're gonna try to breeze through it. In this video, we're gonna unbox the MX Master 3. We're gonna give you a brief tour of the physical appearance and outside and buttons and capabilities. And then we're gonna demo actually using this to do things like switching between dual computers in real time and little shortcuts that help you out in meetings like in Microsoft Teams or Zoom. Let's dig in. Before we tear into the box, let's take a look at the outside. Here we've got the front of the box. A couple quick facts that we're gonna see on this and we'll go over some of these in more detail. Looking on the side, we see we've got quick charging with USB-C. You can get up to three hours of use on a one minute charge, as well as up to 70 hours of use on a full charge. Really not bad at all. Bluetooth capabilities, we can see a Bluetooth dongle here. Coming to the back side, we've got all kinds of features and things that we'll talk about here. This thing is designed to fit the palm and shape of your hand in a unique and natural intuitive way so that as you rest your palm on the table uh, with the mouse underneath of it, all the different capabilities are right there at your fingertips. I mentioned the flow across computer control, some precision on your scrolling. Right in here, we see experience the speed and precision of mag speed magnetic scrolling. And while there are many other features to talk about, we're gonna get to those after we get this out of the box. So to do that, you're gonna have a little bit of tape up here, cut that so that you can get in, and then we will lift the lid and we will pull the box out. Getting rid of the cover, that little slip that goes over the top, we can see our branding up front, MX Master 3 mouse box. Coming straight down, we've got the MX Master 3 sitting right up top, as well as the USB dongle right below. So we go ahead and grab this and pull it out. We'll grab our USB dongle, pull it out. And then this extra little box right here is where we've got our charging cable as well as all the documentation that comes with it. Of course, I would always recommend going out to Logitech's site to grab the documentation there. All kind of tutorials and instructions will be available online. Taking a look at our charging cable, we've got a USB-C on this side. This will connect to the MX Master 3, and then USB-A on the other side. Coming on into our Bluetooth dongle, got our Logi brand up top. This is a unifying receiver. The multi-OS Bluetooth enabled MX Master 3 has an ultra quiet electromagnetic mag speed wheel that provides up to 90% faster performance with 87% more precision. Logitech's dark field tracking technology allows you to use the device on almost any surface with up to 4000 DPI. At the bottom of the mouse you can see we've got a sticky little tutorial that will peel off but we have an on off for Bluetooth connectivity. Obviously you've got the wireless receiver or you can connect with regular Bluetooth connect connectivity to the laptop or Mac if you've got uh, Bluetooth enabled on the device itself. Coming down to the bottom, it's the easy switch capability. There is a button here at the bottom that lets you know you can switch between computer one, two, or three just with the push of a single button. And we just peel that right off. Coming in closer, we can see the on off right there. Switch on. And then when you can see we've got our first computer that is looking to connect right there. We can program up to three different computers for the MX Master 3 to connect to with Bluetooth. Coming in for a closer look at the bottom, you can see where the device will slide on the surface of the desktop with these smooth rubbery grips here. This ensures an optimal flow on the surface as you use it. At the very front of the MX Master 3, we see a USB-C port. This is where we will charge our device from. Again, you get up to three hours of use on a one minute charge and up to 70 hours total on a full charge. Taking a look at the style and design, we're gonna go over all the different buttons and components in just a moment. But this is designed so that when you set your hand on a surface, without having to put your wrist in an uncomfortable or unnatural position, 
Your hand simply folds over the top of this device, thumb resting right here at the side, and your two fingers will go right here where they typically do on a mouse on the left and right click. Easy access to all buttons and scroll wheels without having to move your hand in an awkward or uncomfortable position. Right up top is the mag wheel for vertical scrolling, and it has been engineered to be able to switch seamlessly between large scrolling of up to a thousand lines per second with really quick scroll movements like this, or with nice gentle click by click movements, you can go line by line, giving you extreme precision no matter how fast you wanna navigate a vertical list of items. Right here with easy access for your thumb is the thumb wheel, giving you horizontal scrolling capability. Let's say you're in a spreadsheet with a whole lot of different columns. A scroll wheel will make it easy to go back and forth between all of them without having to grab that scroll bar with the mouse pointer and moving it over physically. You've got the forward and backward buttons right there. Again, easy access for your thumb that's already sitting right here. Right behind our mag wheel, we've got the mode shift button. Finally, the ability to do certain tasks by gesturing is a unique and pretty cool feature of the MX Master 3. Right where the thumb lies, you see this little point that sticks up here, no visible button, but if you press down right there, you can feel there is a button and you can even see it uh, indenting on the screen. If you hold down the gesture button and then move the mouse in a particular direction, it will accomplish a certain task. Going upward, you get task view on a PC or mission control on a Mac. Going down with the gesture button brings up different apps. And then of course, going side to side, will allow you to navigate between different computers. As we mentioned earlier, there is a ton of customization that is packed into the MX Master 3. Taking a look at Logitech's website on the MX Master 3 page itself, we get a little overview of some of that. You get the defaults right here, and I just went over what a lot of those motions are with the thumb wheel, your mag speed wheel, your mode shift button, uh, the gesture button, we talked a bit about that, and the back and forward. However, there are a number of pre-configured profiles for different app types that have different functionalities built in. You can see up here we've got Photoshop, we've got video editing, and the features and capabilities that are uh, done when you use the wheels or the buttons change as you're going from app to app. Uh, you can change this functionality, you can customize this. Coming over to video calls, this is particularly unique to me uh, with Microsoft Teams being a big focus of mine, these two buttons right here, you've got stop and start video at the front and then mute, unmute. Being able to do both those, to control those right from the mouse with just a click of a button instead of navigating on screen, that's a huge win in my book. So we'll, we'll demo that briefly later on in this video too. And you've got customizations for your different office apps. Uh, Excel gets even more customized because of all the different scrolling through rows and columns. And besides all this, you can add different apps in. Let's take a look at where you do this and what it looks like to manage the MX Master 3 in the optional Logitech Options software. Taking a look at the screen here, I have wirelessly connected the MX Master 3 to this Mac using Bluetooth. I did not use the Bluetooth dongle. Uh, so we have our mouse connected into the Logi options. If we go back to your devices, you can see we're in the options app. I've got all kinds of things, two other mice added in here, the MX keys keyboard added in here. But we are looking at the MX Master 3 right now. And this main page, we're broken down by mouse capabilities, point and scroll capabilities, and then flow capabilities if we choose to use those. Right now, we're looking at our default profile of all uh, all of the applications, but we can go and customize any of these apps in here as well as add an application to customize what we do in that application with certain button clicks. Um, so right now, if I were to change this to Microsoft Teams and I hover over any of these buttons, we see this is our volume up and down. This is the start and stop video and this is the mute unmute button. Coming over here, that's just our wheel mode shift, no changes, middle button, and then our gesture button is still a gesture button. That's the Microsoft Teams specific profile. Going back to all applications and hovering over these same buttons, you see this changes. Forward, back, horizontal scroll, and you can customize these things per profile if you want to. If we wanted to change what these things do, we can simply click on the little circle area 
and you have a number of things that you can choose from for changing this. So again, extreme customizability in all of these different buttons and components of the device. Going back over to Microsoft Teams, we've got the start stop video. If I click on that, I could actually change this to a keystroke assignment. I could make that the mute unmute button. And then there's a few other things that we could do in here as well. Back to our all applications profile. If we go to point and scroll, you can see a number of customizable settings in here that have to do with the behavior of the mouse, how fast you want the pointer to go across your screen. I actually changed this because it was down here and I felt it lagged a bit too much. I, want, I have three monitors that I'm working with. I wanna go from monitor to monitor a little quicker and not have to like move the wrist too much. So I upped my pointer speed. I left my scrolling speed how it is. You've got scrolling direction that you can invert if you want, but we're gonna leave it at standard. Same with the thumb wheel direction. There's your thumb wheel speed. Do we wanna enable smooth scrolling or not? And you've got the smart shift enabled. Now it says fixed mode is inactive. We need to disable smart shift and confirm mode shift isn't assigned to any button if we wanna use that. So a lot of customization that gets packed into how fast the scrolling and the mouse actually moves, the smoothness of it, the direction of it, that's all customizable right here. Finally, coming over to flow, this is an optional thing you can do that if you've got two different uh, computers that you wanna use this across from, and maybe you don't wanna use the gesture button, you just wanna seamlessly move the mouse between the two monitors of your two different computers. Once the mouse gets to the edge of one, it goes under the edge of the other, that's using flow. So we would need to enable flow, set it up on both machines and get that going. As you can see, you can also swap the left and right buttons. I'm not gonna mess myself up by doing that, but you can if you're used to that for some other reason. Coming down to our feature tour, this will pop up when you first connect your MX Master 3 with Bluetooth and access it via Logi Options. You will say continue here. It gives you a brief tour of what all the different buttons and wheels do. We've got our mag speed scroll wheel, the mode shift button. It manually toggles us between ratchet and free spin modes. You've got the gesture button down there and all the different things that it can do. Then you've got the thumb wheel right there as well, talking about it. Then you've got the app specific settings that we've already gone over. And finally, our predefined settings for all those different apps. Here you would say click to install the profiles for each of those apps that it detects that you have. I already did this, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the X to skip that step. All right, a quick demo of using the mouse between desktops. We've got a Mac right now that we are on. You see the mouse moving on the Mac. As I lift the mouse up and show you the bottom of the mouse, you can see that we are connected uh, with the first reserved spot right down here. Now, if I switch this over to the second reserved spot, you see we now have the second chosen, and I put the mouse back down on the table and I start moving the cursor, we now see that we are moving the mouse over on a Windows 10 PC. So we've connected with Bluetooth to two different machines on two different reserved Bluetooth spots. And with the simple press of a button, we are able to go between our laptops. Now, of course, using Flow will allow you to actually seamlessly go with a mouse scroll, uh, the pointer moving across the screen between both different desktops. You can copy and paste items between them. That obviously involves setting up flow on both sides and getting your devices enabled for it. We're not demoing that here, but here we can see just toggling between the reserve spots below up to three of them, Mac, Windows, or Linux, we then resume mouse activity on the specific machine that we're connected to with that button. So check this out. We've got a Microsoft Teams meeting up. I am using the MX Master 3 for my uh, mouse on this machine. And we already looked at how we had some pre-configured functionality in the forward and back button on the mouse uh, per the settings in Logi Options. Specifically, we can turn on or off our video with the forward button or mute or unmute our mic with the back button. Right now, I've got video on the screen. You can see we are not muted up here in the Teams client. If I click the front button once, boom, I am my, my video is muted and you see the mouse is nowhere near the button. So it wasn't me pushing the button interface 
in the Teams client, it was me pushing the button on the mouse. Again, with the mouse down here, I push the button, my video is turned back on. I push the back button, boom, I'm muted in the meeting. Again, mouse is nowhere near that button in the client. Boom, unmuted. Just with the simple use of those shortcut buttons, the forward and back button in the Microsoft Teams client. Of course, this is the Microsoft Teams app. We're talking about a number of other apps that you can customize these actions for, including adding your own apps in. Well, there you go. That was the MX Master 3 mouse from Logitech. Hope this overview was helpful. I hope the brief tour of the features, capabilities, customizable options, as well as usage between devices and in an app like Microsoft Teams was helpful to you. If so, please like the video, please share it on all your social media accounts, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, there is a very handy subscribe link in the bottom corner of this video. I encourage you to subscribe and turn on notifications so that the next time I come out with the product overview video, you won't miss out. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next video.